Consumer Reports out with its annual top auto picks, and it's a big year for EVs. Phil LeBeau is here with the full list. And Phil, what spot has the first gasoline-powered car on, I wonder? Well, what you have is 10 vehicles that are picked every year by Consumer Reports. And they're in a range of prices between under 25000 up to 55000 And they say, look, these are the models, according to Consumer Reports, that are the best in these categories. And this year, when you look at the report overall, and we're not going to run down every single model, but seven of the ten are either hybrids or electric vehicles. Why? Consumer Reports says they have greater fuel efficiency. No surprise there. Also, they have better reliability. So what we find is... There's less brake problems, the transmissions, less transmission problems. Everything is kind of muted and softened. And plus, when you look at the hybrids and who's producing these hybrids, they generally are from very reliable automakers who have been using this technology for a long time. That's code for saying Toyota. They have four of the 10 vehicles. No surprise, they are the leader in hybrid sales here in the U.S. Overall, Basically, nine out of 10 vehicles in this country sold are still gasoline powered, internal combustion engine vehicles. But you see, EVs are now outselling hybrids, each of them with a little over 5% of the market. Kelly, as you take a look at what we're seeing for the, uh, the automakers and what's expected, keep in mind that auto sales are expected to grow this year by about 9%. That's the expectation. We'll see if the market develops as expected later this year. Can we put that uh, up one more time, Phil, to show the top picks? I mean, this does people wonder, ah, oh, this is why, you know, why feature this? This this is really a sign of the times. You know, I remember when Tesla was very, for the first time, was up there, and that was like years ago. Um, this, to me, suggests right. that the EV market, I mean, to make the obvious point, but it really is broadening out. And there are more options out there. The Tesla Model 3 is the uh, EV, one of the EVs that was picked this year, along with the Nissan Leaf. Those are the two EVs that were picked, along with five hybrids. We're seeing more options, Kelly. So when you go out to buy an electric vehicle, it used to be, I have Tesla and I got a couple other choices. Increasingly, that is not the case anymore. And what you're going to see is more EVs becoming more popular, more people buying them. And I'm not surprised that this is what we saw from Consumer Reports.